Talking with the experts. In episode 553, learn how to achieve business goals through strategic LinkedIn commenting with Bogomil Stawev. Discover time-saving techniques for maximum impact. It is time-consuming and it is really exhausting and sometimes it's really annoying. So, but you know, there is a saying that I truly believe in is uh, which is that when the price is is worth it you need to pay the price right so yeah uh because of that you need to spend the time but of course uh there are some small hacks in the way that you can use for example our tool can help you to save time along the way especially for the value part of the comment which is the thing that in most of the cases takes the most time to figure out and most and also the most exhausting part which stops you to uh to do your um to do your engagement list which means like engaging with all the people that you have put in a list so these tax uh these small hacks can help you to save time talking with the experts are you looking to elevate your brain Advertise with Talking With The Experts and reach a global audience. With over 36,000 monthly listeners, your message will resonate with a dedicated and engaged community. Hosted by Rose Davidson, our podcast has ranked in the top 100 in Australia and the top 20 in New Zealand. Boost your brand visibility, connect with potential customers and drive conversions. Our listeners are eager for innovative solutions and expert insights. Let your brand be the one that they trust. Are you ready to grow with us? To learn more about advertising opportunities, contact us today at talkingwiththeexperts.com. Talking with the Experts. Welcome to Talking with the Experts. This is where we discuss great ideas to take your business to the next level. How do we know these ideas work? Well, it's because we're talking with business owners who are using these ideas. Business owners who have years of experience and expertise. All things business by business owners for business owners. And now, here is your host, Rose Davidson. Hello, welcome to Talking With The Experts. I'm your host, Rose Davidson from rosedavidson.com.au. Talking With The Experts is all about business by business owners for business owners. You can find it on all podcasting, streaming platforms and on YouTube. And today my guest is Bogomil Stowov and we're going to be talking about LinkedIn and why it is so important to be doing commenting whenever you see someone's post. And the reasons for this is that it increases your visibility, it starts relationships, and it can attract leads. Now, Bogomil is an entrepreneur and has been for the last 15 years, and he's also a certified dentist. And he has a a real one, apparently. He has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on advertising, and during his marketing experience, he has been able to start, scale, and successfully sell two of his e-commerce brands. He is also a best-selling author on digital marketing in e-commerce and for the last few years he has focused on marketing consultations and growing his personal brand on LinkedIn. Bogomil, welcome to Talking With The Experts. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much, Rose. It's it's a big pleasure to be here with you today. Wonderful. Now tell me how, how you went from being a dentist to doing what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, so um, you know, sometimes our parents have their dreams, you know. So uh I have been the the dream of my father to to become a dentist and uh, to to do the same thing as him because he's also a dentist. But um like when I was 17 years old, um uh, I started my entrepreneurship journey. And when I finished my dentist school, which is six years, I realized that actually 
dentistry is is not my thing even though my patients they they love me and want to continue coming to me but i just realized that that's not that's not my thing uh there is um, another way where i can be more helpful and i just continue what i have continued what i have started during the years which is like chasing different ideas business projects and and stuff like that and didn't completely quit dentistry actually i just kept it as as a as a hobby right how could you dentistry as a hobby okay that's a very interesting thing so <laughs> How did you? How did you? Um, how did you form your e-commerce businesses? And and you know what led you into coaching people on LinkedIn? Yeah. So um, these are two different stories, I would say. So after selling my um, second brand, I decided that maybe I should spend more time um, helping others to achieve that, which was a as a great choice because actually it helped me to realize a lot of my mistakes and a lot of things that I can do better and how I can scale my brands faster, which actually led me to to the uh, to one other project when I was able to scale another e-commerce brand from zero to seven figures in just six months. Um, but then I learned a very valuable lesson, which was about partnerships, but that's another story. So um, then... I was, uh, I have been using LinkedIn for quite a few years with no success, like zero, nothing. I have been posting, sending automation, connection requests, sending code DMs and stuff like that. And again, zero results. And then um, one day I discovered what was the reason. Um, and the reason was that I haven't been putting any effort into engaging with other people. Like what I've been doing is what I suppose most people do is to get, uh, uh, are trying to get the most out of LinkedIn without giving first. Yeah. Um, so, and and when I discovered that uh, actually not so uh, far uh, after that, my co-founder, uh, of the two that I'm currently working on, he was talking to me about the same problem that he is not commenting on LinkedIn, uh, but he thinks that he has found a solution for that. So he suggested we to start working on solving this problem. And I, I went very deep into LinkedIn and especially in, in LinkedIn commenting. Mm. So how can commenting help business owners achieve their goals on LinkedIn? Yeah, so in, in many ways, first of all, of course, they need to have a goal. Is it going to be more visibility? Is it going to be more leads? Is it going to be more friendships? What, what, what's going to be in the end? And the thing is that LinkedIn is a, is a social platform. What this means is that it doesn't expect from you to post like 10, 20, 30 times per day but it expects from you to be engaging with other people. And when you are starting on LinkedIn, you have a limited reach because you don't have that many followers, right? Probably 10, 20 or 50 at the most. Um, so when you post, probably 10% or 20% of your followers are going to see your post. And most of them are just going to read it and, and move on. So you're not going to get any engagement, which means that, your post will be that after this, let's say 23, uh, 30 views or something like that. So there is no chance for you to actually achieve your goals because these people already know you. So they know what you can do for them. So if they need business, they will contact you immediately. They don't need any postings from you. But if you want like real clients to open the food gate of new clients, you need to be out there and showing yourself to the world. And because posts are not helping with that, the only other way to do that successfully is to go into the world of other people that have already grown their followers. And you do that by starting to engage with them, with their posts. And of course, you need this, um, you need to do this strategically, like to do it with the right people, not with everyone. Like, for example, if you are 
selling um, uh, mouse, mouses, let's say computer mouses, like engaging uh, with with someone who doesn't have any uh, intent to buy a, a mouse for one reason or another, like it would be a waste of time for you and your business. But let's say you are selling um, um, coaching services for business owners, then it would make a lot of sense to start engaging with business owners, right? Or with other coaches who are your competitors, but that's fine because they have their audience of potentially buyers or people who are looking to buy from them. But when you appear in their commenting section, uh, section, their audience will see you. And if they believe that you can help them, they will check your profile and hopefully you have optimized your profile. So they will send you a connection request and, and start the conversation. So this way you are just opening your world for more opportunities because you are showing your expertise by engaging with others. That um, sounds really a great strategy, but you know, how do we as business owners prepare our commenting strategy? I mean, you, you, you know, you, you mentioned earlier that we had to be strategic about it and you, you know, made an explanation, but how do we prepare ourselves to be strategic? Yeah, that's 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 a great question. Um, like I already said, the first and more, most important question is what's the goal? Like, uh, do you need clients for your business or you want more visibility for, for your business? Let's say that it's clients. That's the first step. Okay, great. But what uh, what is the profile of your client? Is it business owners? Is it consultant? Is it founders? Is it uh, dentists? What type of dentist? Um, what what um, um, what are the psychographics of this person? Like, what is he dreaming for? What are his or her pain points and stuff like that? And when you know that, you start searching LinkedIn for these people. Like, this is going to be your target audience, and you are going to aim to engage with them every single day, right? But Together with that, when you know your niche, again, you should also find your competitors in, the, in your niche and find those that are also active on LinkedIn and start engaging with them in a proper way, of course, like not stating that you are much better than them, right? And trying to steal their, their audience. That's not the right way to do it for sure. The third thing that you need to do is to find the influencers in your niche and again, start engaging with them as much as possible. But this doesn't mean like start engaging with their last 50, 100 posts and spam their notifications. Like I mean, start to engage with them every single day after you have found them. Mm -hmm. And to be on time, that's the, that's the second very important thing which means that you need to figure out what's the posting time of each of these people and to make your schedule in a way to, to be able to be on time for as many people as possible from your list, especially for your target audience and influencers, because most probably they're going to have a lot of comments. I mean, the influencers and for your target audience, um, they most probably don't spend that much time on LinkedIn. So it's great to be as there as soon as they post. So you have a higher chance for them to, to get noticed by them. And of course, the third rule is to give your best to deliver as much value as possible, which means like forgetting about comments like, thank you, great post, nice share and stuff like that, which is useless. But to share your experience, to share all that you know in the form of comment, which is readable, which is well formatted, which is giving practical advice, and which is sticking to one practical advice, like not sharing all your knowledge with one comment, right? Just sharing one thing in a way that can be implemented as soon as someone reads the comment so he or she can get his or her first win. And then if this happens, then you are authority in the eyes of this person. And then most probably this person is going to send you a connection request and ask for your services and how he or she can get more out of you. 
sounds quite logical, really, doesn't it? You know, putting it simply, it makes it sound like it's quite easy to be able to do that. But isn't it a time-consuming task for people to, you know, to, to use that strategy? Yeah, it is time-consuming and it is really exhausting and sometimes it's really annoying. So, <laughs> but, you know, there is a saying that I truly believe in, is uh, which is that when the price is is worth it, you need to pay the price, right? So, yeah, uh, because of that, you need to spend the time. But of course, uh, there are some small hacks in the way that you can use. For example, our tool can help you to save time along the way, especially for the value part of the comment, which is the thing that in most of the cases takes the most time to figure out and most and also the most exhausting part, which stops you to uh, to do your um, to do your engagement list, which means like engaging with all the people that you have put in a list. So these tax uh, these small hacks can help you to save time, but again, it will take time for sure. Even if you manage to save time, let's say um, one hour or two hours per day because of our two, you need to do this for at least one, two weeks in order to start seeing some results. So you again need to, to do some, some substantial um, time investment, especially when you're starting out. The great thing about commenting is that the compounding effect works really well. So which means that in the beginning, you need to spend a lot of time commenting, but over time you can reduce it and still get the same results. Yeah, I guess um, time-saving factors and, and you know, implementations, uh, especially when you're a, a busy person, uh, you know, can can be very helpful. And so what did, what do you suggest that we use? What, what sort of time-saving processes are there? Yeah, so I'm afraid that there are not so many things that you can do to save time. The first thing is, of course, to have an engagement list, which means a list of people that you engage with daily and you don't have to scroll endlessly on, on LinkedIn to search for these people. So which means in the beginning, you need to put more effort to find these people and put them on this list. But over time, you will get a much higher ROI on your time spent. That's the first thing. The second way is um, to to have the posting time of these people. So you don't like scroll and wait for them to post, but you know when it is expected them to post so you're there on time. That's the, the second way. The third way is to, to comment in batches. So when you know when people are posting, you, made, um, you, you split your commenting throughout the day. So, which means you know that most of your target audience posts between 8 and 9 a.m. Then you make a small session between 8 and 9 a.m. And you're focused only on commenting. You don't do anything else. So when you are focused, you can do a lot more commenting um, in, in a shorter amount of time than if you do a lot of things and try to comment at the same time. So this way you are going to save some time. The other way is to actually create your own commenting style, which means a structure for your comments, for at least most of your comments, because some posts doesn't need such things. For example, posts like someone who has changed his job, his or her job, you, you don't need a very complicated comment for that. It's just a congratulation po a comment or something like that. But for most posts, you need a, a more meaningful and longer comment. And when you have a commenting structure, which means I know that my first sentence is going to be a hook, my second part of the comment is going to be the value providing part, and the third part of my comment is going to be a PS section where I'm going to summarize what I have already said, I'm going to compliment the, the author, or I'm going to add the tip, whatever it is, and this is my structure. This saves me a lot of time because my brain thinks in the way of structure, like a filter, you know? So read, you read the post, 
your, your mind knows that this is the structure for my comment that I'm going to use, then I need to figure out how to fill these three sections of my comment. And for the brain, it's much easier this way than to have to figure out like what's going to be my structure for this comment and then how I'm going to fill this structure with meaningful content. And this way you're not only saving time, but you're also saving a lot of brain power. Um, but of course you see there is over time. And the last but not least is of course using Commenter AI, our tool which helps you with the value part and also with the, with the structure of your comment. I guess, um... It, it, all that information is absolutely vital for anyone who wants to get, you know, out there and, and become more known. And honestly, those processes sound quite simple. And thank you for sharing those because I think uh, we could all take take uh, heed of those and, and become more um, seen, noticed and, and uh, you know, and, and get our businesses out there by using those strategies. Now, Bogomil, you have been researching, commenting on LinkedIn, and we've been discussing that. And you've been just, you know, trying to discover ways to achieve um, um, the most of of commenting and how we can save time. And so, you're a co-founder of an AI tool called Commenter AI. So, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, sure. So, like I said. Um... Me and my co-founder, now ex my um, now my ex co-founder, uh, we have been having this problem of not commenting. So when I started researching commenting more and more, I discovered that actually a lot of people are having the same problem as me. Like they can write posts and feel good about that, but then they don't engage because they're afraid that their comments may be judged or someone can be aggressive because of their comment or someone can uh, stay the opposite thing uh, and somehow offend them uh, also their comments can be ignored and stuff like that so we thought that maybe we shouldn't develop this tool only for us because that was the first idea to develop a tool that can be helpful for me and him so it will be our secret hack that nobody knows about but then when I was doing my research, like, and I told him like, what are my findings? He said, okay, then maybe we should open this to the, to the world and we can implement all your findings in the tool so people can benefit a lot more from it than just reading your posts and your comments. And this is what we have been doing since then. Like I'm constantly researching, commenting so far more than 180 hours just researching, commenting, and then implementing all my findings in the back end of the tool so people can benefit uh, out, out of it. And that's why we constantly change it because my findings also change, not every day for sure, but at least once per month, I have something new that I can implement or mention for commenting that can help others grow faster or achieve their goes faster. So is this um, commenter.ai, is that available to everybody or it, is it just available to people on LinkedIn or how do people get their hands on it? Yeah, so for now it works mainly for LinkedIn because my findings is, uh, are based on uh, LinkedIn commenting. It works also on Meta and X, but our clients are using it only for LinkedIn because the commenting on LinkedIn is far, far different from any other platform. And I would say it's far, far, far more difficult on LinkedIn than on any other platform. That's why we have focused more on LinkedIn uh, because we believe that this way we can help people more. And when they learn how to comment effectively on LinkedIn, they can easily go and achieve the same results on Twitter and Facebook. Sorry, Meta. Meta. <laughs> Yeah, um, it sounds fascinating. Um, and if anyone wants to get uh, find out more about it, just go to commenter.ai and you'll find um, information there. And I'm sure that uh, it will be more than helpful to anybody that, you know, wants to find out how they can get their hands on it, find out how it's useful to their business. 
Um, Bogomil, what, what else have you got that, um, you know, people can learn about from you? Yeah, so uh, I hope a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> but probably the main thing that uh, I would love if people realize is that LinkedIn is a sea of opportunities and probably the fastest way to, to get them is not through posting, but it is through commenting. But the first thing that you need to do, which is crucial, and I see a lot of people make as a mistake, is that they run to start engaging or posting content, but they forget about their profile. So no commenting hacks, tricks, strategies can save you if your profile is not showing what you want to show to the world, which means what are your goals? Like you want more clients, more visibility. What are your goals? What is your target audience? So because with commenting, you proper commenting, sorry, you you get the visibility that you're looking for. But if you're not stating, for example, on your headline, how you can further help people, like you're wasting your time. So start with your profile and, and then move to engaging with people and then start posting content on LinkedIn because the other benefit of engaging on LinkedIn with the proper people, which means proper strategy, is that you get to know your audience a lot better. So when you start posting, you know your audience, what uh, what it cares about. So you can write about that and this way they can more easily connect with you and start seeing you as an authority because you are going to speak the way they're thinking and about the, the pain points that they're thinking about and about the dreams that they're looking to, uh, to fulfill in their lives. But you won't know about them if you haven't started engaging and you're just posting content on LinkedIn. Wow, that makes so much sense. I don't know why, you know, I, I haven't thought of it before about commenting on people's things. I'm always posting. I'm not thinking about engaging with others. And really um, how what you've said t today is really helped me uh, realise that uh, for me to get more engagement on my posts, I actually need to be commenting on other people's posts. So thank you so much for the information you shared with us today. Now, if you want to reach out to Bogomils, it is uh, he's on LinkedIn and you just look up Bogomils. It's uh, B-O-G-O-M-I-L-S um, and you'll find him there. And you'll also find him at, on uh, commenter.ai uh, on, on the website. So please check that out. Bogomil, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for sharing all that great knowledge with us today. Um, I'm going to go and start setting up my strategy for LinkedIn commenting and, and getting some more engagement on my own posts. So that'll be wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you very much again for having me and for your great questions. Bye for now. Bye-bye. You've been listening to Talking with the Experts, hosted by Rose Davidson. Make sure you have a look at our back catalogue over at talkingwiththeexperts.com and be sure to subscribe to our podcast so you don't miss out on any episode. We look forward to your company next time.